coming home with his first win of the season here at Talladega Short Track in night two of Talladega NASCAR weekend at the Hornet's Nest. The Denise Smith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series point leader, the defending and two-time series champion. And Ronnie, he came from 12th spot tonight and uh, took the lead on uh, one time on lap 23 and took it for good on lap 32. And in any other race, we would be it'd be all about you and what you've done tonight, career win number 26. But tonight, it was not just you winning the race, but how you won it and who you had to race against. You know, you're a National Dirt Late Model Hall of Famer. You had a new challenger tonight, and he made you work for it, and he's just 12 years old. Tyler Clem, how about it? I tell you, we had a really good race. We started on back in the field, and I felt like I had a little better car than what we'd qualified, and we got moving up there. But um, as soon as we started, I mean, we ran two or three laps, and, you know, I'm watching up ahead, and I could see that Tyler was on the move. He certainly was on the move, and then the next thing I know, he's in the lead. And... Um, we, we finally got up there to him, and um, I was trying to work the outside, trying to work the inside, and uh, Eric Cooley was racing me pretty hard. Um, Eric got by me, I guess I, after, if I didn't realize I led that lap 23 or whatever, but um, I guess uh, sometime after that point, Eric got by me and started challenging Tyler for the lead. And I got to trying too hard and got a tire hot, started getting loose getting in the corners and we had a caution there uh somewhere or lap 30 or something i don't know or whatever anyway got a chance to cool a tire down and uh eric chose the inside which was what i wanted we got the outside and we got a good run there and got on the outside of tyler and, and got by him and and after that i just tried to hit my marks and and keep it under me and and bring it home but uh you know, I could tell, like, on the on the cautions, you know, the, the fans were all into it. I mean, the fans were cheering Tyler on. I could tell they were, they were just up there just fist pumping and really getting into it, which is great, great for our sport or series and the track. Uh, I was really proud to see that. I'm proud of tonight. Uh, I've told everybody that if uh, if we wouldn't have won it, it would have still been a good night. That was a heck of a race, and, and not just for the lead. I mean, because I came up through there, and there were side-by-side -side battles, uh, you know, coming and going. And, you know, we were talking about just before we went on the air here that, you know, you're you a popular driver and that Tyler got some new fans tonight. And, I mean, like you said, they were fist pumping, jumping up and down. I think if anybody else would have won this race tonight other than you, they would have been mad. I don't think Tyler fully realizes yet how, how, you know, I told him he stole the show, and he absolutely did. And, you know, the fans loved it. They love him now. Um, you know, they're going to keep up with him. We got we – got, dirt track fans here and we got fans from across the street you know that are m maybe new to the sport maybe not but um you know tonight was a great night for all of us well ronnie i tell you uh point lead now uh looking for your third straight title it's never been done before yeah i mean you know it's too early to decide who the point champion is all we can do is take them one race at a time and you know tonight we started deep and uh everybody's racing really hard and um you know uh, I got to admit that, you know, the fans, a big big crowd like we had, and knowing that there's uh, fans that don't see us every week, you know, you get out there and you race hard. And, uh, uh, you know, take a guy like Cal Conley who raced today in the Xfinity Series over there across the street, and he comes in and races with us. And, um, you know, you're racing with some, some new and different people, and he's got – people that have come from across the street you know that that work with him fans of his and they're watching so he's racing hard and uh we're just all out there racing hard i think we all got a got a, a few rough edges dragging after that but uh we had a we had a really good race and a weekend to remember absolutely absolutely and a busy one for me because we ran the late model race and uh we didn't lock in and qualify and had to run a heat race tonight um, which I felt like was really important to it was started on the pole and I felt like it was very important to win it you know just one position would have put us back uh, several on the starting grid and um, you know the you know getting back to the points thing you know you gotta again take them one at a time and tonight everybody was racing hard and I was just hoping we could finish uh, and finish we did and 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 we I'm glad we got that first win out of the way I hope there's more to come as I've said before you never know when the last one's coming and uh you know, a guy like Tyler here, you know, he's got a whole bunch of them ahead of him. So uh, we hope we got a few of them left in us. One of these days, you and I will be sitting in them recliners in the racer's rest home somewhere, and uh, we'll have the TV tuned in to NASCAR racing, watching that Tyler Clem on there someday, I think. And we can think back, boy, 
Remember that night at Talladega Short Track? Well, that'll be great. I mean, uh, you know, I saw Austin Dillon in the pits tonight. Um, I think Tony Stewart was here last night. It, it's just, it was really good. You know, everybody knows that originally we were we had another, we were scheduled to be at another track, and uh, things didn't go the way they needed to. And, you know, the venue changed, and everything happens for a reason. We're where we needed to be, and I hope this is, uh, is a start of a tradition uh, that we come here every year uh, for this event and maybe for both events. Um, they did a great job, whoever prepares the track. And, you know, they didn't do much to it today. You would you would think that it would have been one lane, follow the leader, lockdown, and, you know, we raced hard in the late model race, and uh, we really all raced. I mean, like I said, it's side-by-side -side battles coming and going out there. Well said, and congratulations on your first win of the season, and I'm sure we'll be talking again before the end of the season. I certainly hope so. Thanks a lot. Ronnie Johnson, winner of night two tonight at Talladega Short Track in East Boga, Alabama for the Nismith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series.